Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sahula Sands, which is absolutely flourishing now that we have been taking care of this wonderful reserve and gathering up as much as we possibly can in the attention of the many, many guests who want to come and see our precious giraffes and zebras and our African wild dog pups frolic about in this new reserve, which we're very much enjoying for the sake of the giraffes and the animals, but of course the Husuhula family is enjoying for the sake of their precious protea flowers, which really we need to give a greenhouse pretty soon. But not today, because today, my friends, oh hey look, it's one of the Suhula members, what's up, Rub Rubble, Rubble Sorter Mech, the, uh, the kind of lazy brother that we have for the Suhula family. But today, we're actually going to work on something special because I truly am in love with the vast horizons habitat that we've been building. And I want to make more ways for guests to be able to interact with it. I want to add a ton more animals into it. I want to make sure that there's plenty of places for our giraffes to be happy because right now they're kind of enjoying things. But there's not enough shelter, they're starting to get bored because there's not enough food and toy enrichment. They would like to see a few more species inside of the exhibit other than just having the zebra here. And I'm looking forward to that. But I really want my guests to be able to look forward to seeing the giraffes. And considering the view they have right now down here, that's not really, not really possible. So today we're going to build a big cliff that the people can walk on to come inside the habitat a little bit and see what the giraffes are up to. And we're also going to make it a hard shelter for the giraffes so that they can get out of the elements. Because right now we do not have enough shelter since I think we have something ridiculous like I don't even know how many giraffes we have right now. How many giraffes do we have right now? We've got 14! 14 of my precious, precious animals. I'm so happy about that. All right, so that's the goal. And I think we're going to go ahead and start that goal with another one of these lion rock waterfalls. Just to kind of get us going. I'm going to modify it a bit, for sure. Uh, I think putting it, like, right here might be really good. But I want to make sure that it lines up with where the guests can go. On their path. So let's go up, up, up. We're gonna have guests walk in. And I think that's up enough. Whoops, and we definitely want to get rid of the columns that would be under there. No path supports! We're trying to like completely keep this beautiful illusion after all. All right, and then I'm not sure how the cliff will work out, but that's probably the height we want it at. Because that will put people pretty much eye to eye with the giraffes. They will be looking at their beautiful ossicones. But no touching! The thing is... Oh, and let's check on the mechanic researchers. Yes! The climate researcher has now figured out how to get more liquids to the people here. So we have a new drink shop. And we're making progress with Gardener Bev. I, or Jev. I do think that Gardener Jev would be very happy to research barriers because he can keep people from touching his protea flowers. Very important. Alright, so they're making good progress. Alright, so we are going to make it so people can come and see the giraffes. Is this too tall though? I don't think it is. And we need it to be pretty tall if we're going to have a section of it that the giraffes can get out of the elements in. Hmm. And I am going to need... Let's put it all over here for just a second. To remove that. And remove this. And I might need to remove some of these waterfall pieces if I can find them. Even though I love them, and I would love to keep them. We'll go ahead and pluck them loose, because we're going to expand the cliff so that people will be able to see what the giraffes are up to. Alright, there we go. Then there's one hidden around down here somewhere. Oh, I found it! The keeper has not attended to the habitat in a long time. In Vast Horizons? We have ancient textile expert Julia, giraffe researcher Gwyn, and dung beetle researcher Bree all assigned over here. 
So they should be... They should be totally fine at checking on this. Everybody seems to be doing fine right now anyway. All right. Let's grab this one and this one. It'd be nice if there was like a button just to be able to select all of the special, I don't see it, the special effect pieces so that you could remove them a lot quicker, like all at once, but that's okay. There we go. We found the leak. <laughs> all right, and let's grab, let's grab this half to start with. I'm gonna scooch it over here. Oh, look, people are already up here, yay! Good for you guys, early adopters. Early adopters, even. We'll put them here. And back this up a little. Nice, I like it, I like it. We'll have to move some things around just a teensy bit. There we go. All right, and we'll swing around this side. Delete a few of these. Excuse me, <clears throat> blow up a few of those rocks so that people can see things easier. Move other pieces so that people can see the animals easier. Oh, people are really overheated. We really need to get them some water. All right. Let's get the savannah rocks over here. There we go. And we'll put down like a fun cliff that people will have to work with. Um, and then how can I make sure that this has enough? Too short for giraffes over here, unfortunately, to make it everybody's height. But I think people are excited to like get closer to the animals this way. So that's a good thing. All right, there we go. These two are here with their kid, so cute. And nice. All right, kind of silly, but it'll do in a pinch. Umbrella acacia tree, you're kind of in my way. All right, come on, umbrella acacia tree. Like you, you have something in the way here. Could you please scooch over just a little bit? Thank you. All right, we'll get rid of that rock. Hmm. So I think what we'll do from here is we'll actually raise up no, 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 not that half. But I actually want to raise up like all of these. You guys stay where you're at, please. You too, tree. Calm down. This isn't about you. You guys stay where you're at. And then let's lift this to giraffe cover height back here and I think this should do it nice okay next up whoa not selecting the entire back half of the the area that's not my plan or down here ah I didn't mean to do that <gasps> laughter is about to mature oh that's wonderful all right, well, maybe I can get down in here. I just wanted to be able to expand this section. Here, I have an idea. When at first you don't succeed, try, try again, very carefully, on a more individual basis. There we go. All right, that'll do. And maybe this will help my poor giraffes because they just have like no hard shelter because there's so many of them. And I wonder if we should actually have some of them end up being in the trade center. Because I think at this point we're really just keeping gold giraffes going nonstop. And I don't want laughter breeding just yet. I guess we could put laughter to the side. Um, that sounds so sad. I want everyone to be able to laugh and, and be joyful, but maybe we could put laughter to the side for just a minute so that we'll be able to have, let's put these down and then we can put another spot right here that I'm gonna put another path for people to go on, I think. Then can the giraffes get over here? 
maybe if I remove these. And then let people kind of wiggle this way a little. All right, there we go. And then they can turn around from there. I think that's kind of fun because it does give them an opportunity to like get inside and kind of see what's going on over here. It could be better, but you know my philosophy with this by now, guys. It's better to go ahead and throw down your rough draft than it is to quibble and worry and never actually end up creating anything. All right, let's get over here. I can hear a giraffe munching somewhere and it makes me really happy. Turn this. And once we get this done, I am so adding in more animals into this exhibit because that's going to be so cute. Can you just imagine all of the tiny little gazelles running around? I mean, we could add in the spring rock, but I'm not quite sure if I'm emotionally prepared to return to the saga of the spring rocks. <laughs> I, I really don't know, but we'll try. All right, there we go, guys. And I'm actually going to get rid of the barrier up here. Let's see, a railing on elevated. No. You guys are gonna live on the edge. On the edge, I say. Ha ha, take that. Take that, you wanna see the giraffes up close and personal? Awesome, I do too. But you're gonna climb the cliff and use logic not to just fall off, okay? Use some common sense and everything will be fine. And I wonder, can I put some of these really cool foliage things that I got up here? Maybe on top? That would be a little OP, I think, to be like, oh yes, of course Protea flowers grow on top of this extremely large cliff. Yeah, that would be a little silly. Oh, but it'd be so pretty. But it'd be a little silly. That's also very pretty. Just plain. Oh, Bem is about to mature. There you go, little guy. I think we'll go ahead and we'll actually put Bem up on the Animal Trade Center. So let's see how much a zebra is going for right now. Let's see. Common zebra. Common zebra. Common zebra? Plain zebra. Which really is a common type of zebra. Um, Let's see. We want... How much would a male zebra fetch us if he was albino and had pretty good... Oh, there's only so many of them right now. Interesting. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and put Bim up as an albino male zebra, which is quite appealing. Uh, and we'll, we'll toss him up for a few thousand in conservation credits and see what happens. All right. You almost ready to mature, buddy? Because I could use your help. Helping us prepare. Oh, yay! The mechanic research is done. Yes! Our climate Scientologist is really on the edge of things. I'm so happy about that. Hopefully, he is pulling up some good news. And let's grab... Do my giraffes consider that to have more hard shelter now? Terrain. Hard shelter 26. What happens if I expand the cliff thing like this a little bit? Does that count as hard shelter? It should. I think that it should. I'm just curious if that counted for the adults. That was 26. No, it's still 26. What? Why doesn't this count as hard shelter? Maybe it's too small in here? After all that effort to try to make this so that the giraffes could still walk in it. Ah, well, that does happen. Oh, the plane zebra. There we go. Where's Bim? Bim, I, I can hear them fighting already. He's wasting no time. He's like, I am grown up now. I'm ready for this. Into the trade center you go. Who's fighting? Oh, it's Blizzard. Blizzard and Opal. They were stressed because they had too many boys. Don't worry, guys. I'm taking care of you. All right, Bim, where'd you go? Plane zebra. Oh, we still have some of the second, the plane zebra. And Andy the second! Oh my gosh, it's good to see everybody. Well, let's go ahead and trade Bem. He is actually silver level, so I don't know why it's not showing up as silver level. Bem, if you could get us a fair price, that'd be awesome. 
Uh, and we'll trade a few. We'll, we'll just put some of the boys up for trade at pretty okay prices for like stellar fertility males, if you ask me. And if they trade, they trade. If they don't trade, they don't trade. All right, there we go. We'll even, we'll keep Andy the second. Well, actually, we'll possibly trade him. If somebody, if somebody scoops Andy up, then it was just meant to be. Uh, ditto with these pygmy hippos that you totally don't see from the other Daily Planet Zoo series we do. Uh, female pygmy hippos are very rare. Very rare. Trade. Especially teensy tiny cute ones like ours. So we'll just see if any of those things take. All right, well. This has been a little frustrating because I thought we were making a great like giraffe shelter, but apparently we hardly budged the shelter at all. Um, so what happens if I bring this whole thing and we move it and we add it in? Let's see. Where should we put it? Because these have kind of been what we've been using for shelters, but let's do a comparison if i put this whole thing in here and give them a minute that is 37 percent heart shelter interesting and if i go ahead and i grab giraffe do i have a giraffe house i've researched a giraffe house i just don't have the space for it unfortunately hmm hmm I wonder if we just need to put in like a giraffe house. Because otherwise they won't have enough shelter. Huh. Well, they're pretty bored right now. Huh. Or maybe I just need to have like a big... Oh, maybe we just need to make like a huge cliffside over here. Oh, there's an idea. Where we just have like a gigantic cliffside covered. Let's see. With like these upper pieces. Ah! I mean, there's a start. Is that giraffe height? It's kind of above giraffe height. And maybe, like, let's see. If I put that here. Because then we could just make, like, a big uplifted cliff that happens to provide perfect shelter for the giraffes. And we could put in windows for people to see. I think we're on to something here, people. It's not going to be very pretty. But it'll it'll do for just a minute while we figure things out. All right, let's get this in. Up. Over. We'll swirl it around a little bit. Oh dear, that's really not what I wanted to do, but let's just see what the experiment's doing. Hard shelter 46. Okay. So I think the answer to our giraffe problems is to make a giraffe cliffside that just happens to have enough shelter and then we'll provide a place for the giraffes to be able to rest and we can have people come and view them down here. There we go. We can even expand the shelter over so people can walk under it. Maybe have a place to be like in the shade of the cliffside. Get something to drink from our new climatologist. There we go. All right, how's that doing? Is that doing something for you guys? Joy? <gasps> Yay, it is! It's making enough hard shelter. We'll have to see how many cliff sides does it take to provide enough shelter for so many giraffes. Maybe the whole thing. Oh yes, is that our climatologist? No, it's Gardener Jeb. He's excited because he is continuing his research on the barriers. Excellent. All right, this is fun. You never know what's going to happen when you come up with these kinds of ideas. <laughs> and so it's kind of fun to see it escalate from like, oh, I'm just going to put a spot where guests can walk up and, and look at things. Hmm? Was somebody just boxed up? That sounded like somebody was just boxed up. To now I have an entire cliffside whose sole purpose is to like make a place for the giraffes. All right, we're at 88%. So I think if we go the entire length, nice. We should have enough hard shelter now. And that's absolutely too many rocks back there. 
And then what I'll do is come in and make a big cliff out of all of that in just a little bit. There we go. All right, what do you guys think now? Out of all of the animals here who I wish to have deep joy, it is you, my giraffes. They have a 100% hard shelter. Woo, we did it, guys. All right, let's move this puppy. Uh, and we can start lining it up, hopefully, to make a nice cliffside. Hmm. Don't worry, cliffs are just basically a ton of rocks thrown together. Oh, Adventure the Second's about to mature! Oh, little buddy. I'll probably need to put you elsewhere so that you don't fight with your dad. Because that would be quite a bit of trouble. Alright. Oh, and Giggles is about to mate! Oh, Giggles, I can't believe you're that old. I need to make sure you're, like, mating with somebody appropriate. We'll work on that. Alright, we'll go over here down here. Excellent, guys. It's messy. It's gorgeous. Personally, I love the chaos of <laughs> that, that rough draft look that then escalates quickly into an actual, an actual cliffside appearance. In fact, I really like this look. Let's grab these. Come here, rocks. You guys are now going to be a group. Thank goodness. That'll get this done faster. Up and yeep. I'm so glad rocks are cheap. And we'll we'll give people a head start at having supplied the funds for all of these rocks and give them something to drink soon. Alright, let's see. Where do I want these ones to go? Up. I kinda love how let's do this. Let's have some spots where there's just like gaps through the rocks. And then we'll make it so people can like look through here and see what's going on. To see my precious giraffes. There we go. All right, maybe a couple more spots. Like I said, rough draft, rough draft, rough draft. Literally rough, because they're rocks. And then we will fill in the gaps. We'll put down tons of plants. <gasps> and Wisp is about to die of old age. Oh my gosh, is there some way that we can like... Oh, she's died. She's gone. Oh, do I have anything to memorialize a zebra? Like a, a beautiful... <laughs> oh, Wisp, rest in peace. 33 years old. 33 years old she was. I am so impressed by that in ways I just didn't even know I could be. Do I have anything I can put down? We have a lot of like zebra patterning that we could put down to try to rem like remember her by. I kind of wish I had just like a cute little shop of some kind. I know, right? I'm sad about that too. Oh, I could put a little off-road vehicle out here. <gasps> but look at these cute pots. I feel like Wisp needs a cute little pot shop that she would have been in charge of where people could come and buy like adorable little pieces of this pottery in fact like oh look there's even a little kiln right over here oh dear now i'm in love with it all right what kind of shop would i put over here if i could put a shop um let's see all right wisp i'm gonna do it in your memory one of the very first shops is going to go down it's going to be guest facilities It'll be a cute little African shop. We'll have it face uh, this direction, I think. That might be really cute. Just kind of face out this this way. With a little kiln in the back. And we'll put a whole bunch of cute pots all around of, of it in just a minute. But what kind of shop should it be? Everybody really is very thirsty. The higher education's out of the red, yes! That makes me feel so proud. Um, there's loony balloons. And there's also an information center. Hmm. Hmm. Zoo entrance, toilets. If Wisp was going to sell something, if we were going to... Oh, but pots! You know, that actually works out really well. We could put down a water place and say that it's just like the water pots. 
And a wisp! Oh, okay, we'll do it. So we're gonna go ahead and add in. Oh, I forgot how he's gonna have to be like... Oh dear. Here, we'll move this. Just for a second. We're gonna need this to connect to a path. <laughs> I just remembered. So it may make this connection... Okay, that connection is not gonna work. Wisp, where am I going to put your water shop? Wisp, wisp, wisp. Hmm. All the way at the back, so people have to walk back here. I really... Ah, sorry guys. Sometimes when you add to the story so much, you get a little bit stopped up. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and put it right over here. And this will be a little pottery shop dedicated in honor of Wisp. We'll put it right here. We'll go ahead and name this man Whisper. So that we will always know. Hello, sir. You're actually going to be um, Potter Whisper. We will assign you to the Ruins of Abbey Market. There we go. And we will, we will remember Wisp this way. I really thought we'd have- oh my gosh, people are so thirsty. <laughs> Train this man! Train this man so that he'll be able to do his job correctly. We'll get him a lot of training. And then let's put down that little African shop stall. Where'd it go? There we go. Ta-da! And we'll add in a ton of cute little pots and we'll just say that this is uh, the, the Whisper Pot Shop. where you come over and the pots that you get are are relics that represent all of the water vessels the yeah when you'd have to carry like water vessels from a river or something all right oh this is a busy place we're gonna have to add in a lot more stuff <laughs> but that's just fine all right we'll put down the kiln over here because i think that's very cute and ta-da! All right, there's plenty more that we need to do over here in order to really get it up and going. And I definitely want to put in a few more decorative touches to really make it look like a cute little pot shop. Oh, that's so cute. Look at it. I love it. And this is just a simple place that just shows you the, the water vessels that people used to have to carry from the river, worrying the whole time that they were going to be eaten by crocodiles. Let's see. Maybe we could have like a cute little water spot? That would actually be kind of cute just to, to show you like in the old days people would have to go so far for their water. All right. All right, I'll have to decorate a little bit more to make the point. Ah, it looks like I can't make it go down any further because the water would be obstructed. That's okay. All right, we'll play with a fountain or something over here. We have the first water shop, thank goodness, in honor of Wisp. So this will be the Whisper, Whisper of Ancient Water Vessels. There, another research facility where people can come learn about history. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. This has been a little bit of a hard time because we have now lost Whisper and it looks like there's actually some stuff happening over in the abandoned house that we'll need to tend to in the near future. There's still plenty to add to, but I'm pretty proud that we made this gigantic cliffside that is going to be covered in just tons of giraffe sleeping spots and hopefully lots of places where we might sneakily be able to make it so that people can come and look at said giraffes. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for all of our wonderful animals. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, guys, stay curious and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.